I have brought up a piece of a piece of plywood. Uh, this is what I was I was doing the cutting on because I didn't want to be cutting it on the floor and I didn't want to be cutting it on the counter. So I just I just had a little. And these are just some of the scraps and such uh, it's that uh, that were left over. I wanted to actually show you how uh, how it is to cut this stuff. Now the initial way is what I what I was doing is I was putting the uh, I was, I was putting this on the board and I would lay my, my straight edge, whether it was a long straight edge or one of these, the, uh, the speed square or in my big T square, depending upon which way I was cutting it. But I would lay it on there and then I would draw the line um, just because I want to make sure that I was kind of in, in a position and then I would go and cut, making sure that I had a new blade when I started. Now this. This is an engineered um, vinyl, so what it has is basically there's a little, a little bit more durability on the top surface of this, and then when you get down below, you're into more of the vinyl type uh, type area. Still flexible and such, but that top is uh, engineered to look like stone, and it is it is stronger and it's a more it's a little harder than cutting regular vinyl. If this be regular vinyl, I'd be able to go zoop, and that would be it. But you, you know, I suppose if I really push. I really push. Okay, so it's it scratched it, scored it a little bit, but it didn't do much of anything. You look at you watch them do this online, and they go and then they bang. Yeah, okay, whatever. I I like to look at this stuff as as I found I could be the most accurate when I treated this as the cut of about 20 cuts. And what I what I mean by that is that you could set your straight edge on there, and then. It was basically to go lightly, to lightly, and kind of score. Let's do a second. I gotta get this over to the edge so I can hold it better. But if I would just go and I would just start lightly scoring with my knife, just sliding the blade along the edge of the straight edge, and it's, I'm not putting virtually any pressure on it, just a tiny, tiny bit of pressure on it. And after about 10 or 12, I will start to feel the knife I'll start to feel the knife kind of like it's hitting gum. Um, it, the knife is starting to to get through that top surface. And now, if you can see right there, I'm starting to get through the top surface. And now I'm actually um, right there. That's the one where I just took one big swing with trying to push hard. This is just me doing a lot of little little uh, cuts with that. Once I had it scored like that, then I could easily put the knife into that, that groove and pull the knife along, but I was feeling that little bit of resistance from hitting the vinyl now because I'd kind of gone through that, that top surface, that, that more engineered layer. Once I've done that back and forth about 20 times, or not back and forth, but once I pulled through about that 20 times, give or take, it will break like that. And I, I went a little farther with typical cuts, but I have a nice straight cut now just using a straight edge and doing that, but it was just that slow, letting the knife, you know, minimal pressure, uh, letting the knife uh, score it, and then getting to the point where I was starting to feel it kind of grabbing on the vinyl. That's the magic of cutting this. It's not hard to cut. It's hard if you're trying to hold the straight edge and then try to put some pressure on it to get through that top surface. And then what happens then is the knife skates back and forth, and then all of a sudden you don't have a nice straight cut. You end up with a cut Let's see. Was this one of them? I thought I kept one that was was a little bit a little bit rough. Or maybe it was maybe it was even this one. But I had I had spots where it wasn't a nice straight cut and it was skating all over um, on me early on until I figured out that you know just score it and it will uh, it will go and it'll it will be great. Live and learn. So don't be afraid, utility knife. But take the time and and go in little bites and you'll be uh, you'll be really good.